Oh, my name is Easton Williams, and I'm the manager of the Population Unit at the Planning Institute of Jamaica. Uh, focus on persons with disabilities, particularly with respect to their reproductive health and rights, as well as their needs. Has been, to a large extent, neglected over the years. Much of the government programming and policy tend to ignore this aspect of, of the population. Um, in, in, the, in the early 1990s, and probably after the ICPD conference, the government started to focus on, I try to focus on the reproductive health needs of adolescents. For we recognized then that to further decline, to see declines in fertility, we had to target the adolescents and the youth in particular. Um, so that at the time there was, there was no program that dealt specifically with adolescents and youth. UNFP responded to, to the request of the government for assistance in this area and from that we developed a reproduct, reproductive health program targeting adolescents and youth. That was very, very successful. We implemented programs across the island and other agencies also came in and supported the government and that was a very successful program. Now, in around 2002 or so, we still saw that there needs to be further reduction in fertility and to expand the, the, the sphere of, of reproductive health and rights throughout the entire population. And so that in our discussion with UNFPA and internal discussion within the Planning Institute, we decided that the, the sector that has been most severely neglected was the disability sector. And so we decided to consult UNFPA and we had discussions with UNFPA and so that a program targeting persons with disabilities with respect to their reproductive health and rights was designed by us and uh, in, in consultation with you know the critical agencies of you know and, and the council for, for persons with disabilities and, and with UNFPA we designed this program and and it was implemented and we have seen quite a success and, 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 and for that, I think, I think we're proud. You know, we're proud for being one of the first countries in the world, the probably developing world, to have targeted this sector for, for expanding reproductive health information and services to them. And, and in fact, these people, persons were discriminated against in the society, in programming policy, you know, right across the government, right across you know, the service generally. You know, they were regarded as asexual. Without, without rights, without, without need for services, you know. But then we fully recognize now that, you know, we did make the right decision. And uh, I would say, you know, from the government perspective, we, we are pleased. Based on, on, on the kids, you know, what, what they're saying, the need that exists in the sector, you know, I, I, would, I would imagine that other agencies and, and, and the government would continue to support a program like this.